in the last video, you saw how to create a custom Microsoft Teams personal tab project. In this video, we're going to customize that default personal tab. Now we can implement the user interface for the tab. The simple tab is basic interface. It presents a list of items and users can add uh, items to the list. So let's go ahead and open up our project with Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to find the file for our tab. So that's going to be inside the source slash client slash learn personal tabs. And then this is our TSX file uh, for our React uh, based uh, uh, project. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update the import statements here uh, to add components from the Fluent UI uh, React library. So I'm going to change this uh, entry here to go import a bunch of additional properties uh, as well. Now we're pulling in a bunch of additional components uh, into our app. Next, I'm going to update the state of the components to contain a list of to-do items and a property for a new item. So what I'm going to do is go add in some code right here after these existing const statements. I'll go ahead and add in this. And so we have things like to-do items and a new to-do value, as well as the setter for these two items uh, that we're going to pass in. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to update how this tab gets rendered. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in this uh, update, the return statement uh, that we see right here. What this return statement is now going to do is it's now going to have a, show a list of to-do items. It's going to walk through all the two items that are in the state, and it's going to then, for each one, it's going to write out a new list item uh, for all of the different items. And then we'll go through and we'll make some additional changes uh, a little bit later. Now, the next step is to add some interactivity to the tab. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple new functions uh, to the um, to our project here. I'm going to add them right before this use effect uh, state. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and update uh, the UX here. So I want to have a little form that's going to allow people to add in uh, new to-do items that are going to be added to the state. So I'm going to go select this to-do text here. And let's then format the code so we can make it a little bit easier to read this. And what's happening here is I'm using a flex control and a flex item to then come in and add in a label and then add in an input text with a button. And the button has a handler here where uh, when the button is clicked, it's going to handle the on click event. And that was the code that we just added a few minutes ago. So what that will do is that it will get the to do items that are currently in state It'll add in the new one that's created here, this new to-do value, and then it will set the to-do uh, items uh, using the setter and then reset the new item uh, to be nothing. So the input box is going to get cleared out. 